Remember this video a few weeks back? Well, I have both good news and bad news for you today. The good news is we do not need any more copium because the mumba, oh, oh, the mumba is real. Can we get much And it's actually pretty good. But the bad news is we still kind of end up in the pit hole that we thought we could climb out of. So in the end, I guess attention is still something we need. But anyways, right after my last Mamba video, a research paper called Mamba Former was published, which proposed the idea of combining Mamba with Transformers to fix some of the downfalls that Mamba has, which I'll get to later on. From their evaluations, this idea of joining them together and creating a hybrid model actually looked really promising. But the model still lacks the size and the ability to generate comprehensible outputs for us to really see its performance. Then it was until a few weeks ago that AI21 Labs dropped one of the latest and the biggest Mamba experiment called the Jamba, which is scaled up to sizes similar to other current popular open source models, giving us a comparable view at what Mamba can truly do. But before we dive into the details first, Further, I'd like to introduce you to a pretty awesome resource that can help you maximize your productivity when using AI chatbots. HubSpot has put together a comprehensive free guide that shows you how to leverage RLMs like ChatGPT to its fullest potential. Whether you're into ChatGPT or Claude 3, the free resource they provide would help you level up your efficiency in your daily endeavors. In addition to the in-depth 37-page guide for using chatbots, HubSpot offers a variety of helpful visualizations, including prompting flowcharts, instruction templates, and content refinement checklists, among others. These resources are designed to help you streamline your work and get the most out of these AI tech. Personally, I find the AI adaptation checklist to be one of the most valuable sections. It allows me to review a list of optimization methods and identify which ones I can implement to improve my workflow, especially when I'm juggling multiple tasks. To access this free bundle of resources, simply click on the link down in the description below. I really recommend it to to anyone looking to become more proficient in using chatbots to enhance their work productivity. Thank you HubSpot for providing these resources for free and for sponsoring this video. Anyways, Jumba, the first ever production grade Mamba based model was released to the public under the Apache 2.0 license. This means that it is completely open source with model codes available for anyone to look at. Similar to what Mamba was designed for, Jumba aims to tackle two key downfalls of Transformers. The first one is the large memory footprint where the transformer's memory usage scales with context length. This makes it hard to run long context windows or parallel batches without large VRAMs and computes, which is what makes running LLMs quote unquote more expensive. The second one is inference speed decreases as context length grows. The current transformer's attention mechanism scales quadratically with sequence length and slows down throughput because each token is depending on the entire sequence that came before it. So what these these two points basically mean is that long context is nice but could definitely use some more efficiency. On the other hand, we have this pure Mamba architecture that uses a state space model as a backbone to make long context cheaper. But without the attention mechanism to oversee the entire context, the Mamba would struggle to match the same level of output quality compared to existing models, especially on recall related tasks due to its selective mechanism that will discard specific information. So how Jumba mixes Mamba and Transformers together? Together is using a blocks and layer approach where it can integrate different architectures together. They got the transformer layer, the Mamba layer, and of course, incorporating the current meta for LLM that is a mixture of experts and applying it to both attention and Mamba layers. So a Jumba block would be composed of these layers interleaving between each other, where one and A of the layers is the transformer layer and the rest is either Mamba or Mamba MOE layer. This composition takes the best properties that transformer and Mamba has and creates a baby that might actually be the next backbone in LLM. On a side note, Mixer of Experts is just a really overpowered and broken mechanic because the model this method creates would just have a higher model capacity in general without the need to increase computational requirements during inferencing. So Jumba is technically a 52 billion parameters model but only uses 12 billion at inference thanks to MOE. To put that parameters count into perspective, the largest Mamba model ever trained prior to Jumba was only up to 3 billion parameters and it wasn't a hybrid model either. While these old 
3B Mamba models' performance on benchmarks were on par with smaller vanilla Transformer models, it is still kind of unusable due to how much worse it performs practically because of its selective mechanisms. With Jumba, however, this Mamba Attention MOE hybrid outperforms or matches other popular models in its size class on a wide range of benchmarks. We are talking about performance better than Llama 213B, on par with Llama 270B, and it even matches stats with Mixtral AX7B, which is one of the best open weights based models out there. And what's even better for people that want to do research on Mamba is that AI21 Labs made Jumba completely open sourced, which promotes more advancements with Mamba related architectures. With Jumba being available on Nvidia's new microservice called Nvidia NIM, where companies and people can just test it or even deploy it with just a single API call, I guess Mamba is no longer just a dream. And being on par with Mixero is not the only good news Jumba has. Thanks to the properties that Mamba has, Jumba has a staggering 256k context length with three times more throughput in comparison to transformer based models at 128k context window. And you can actually fit 140k context length in a single 80GB GPU, doubling the amount the current transformer based model can fit in, making it much cheaper to train models with much longer context lengths without any loss in quality. For some more technical insights about Jumba, they released a paper shortly after they published their blog about it. Aside from showing how much of a difference Mamba has with and without attention, they also tested on the needle in the Haystack benchmark where the model is asked to retrieve information in a gigantic context window of 256 tokens. The performance is pretty green across the board, but you can still see it scores around 60-80% to 80 accuracy in retrieval when the needle is placed in the earlier section of the context window. They did also mention that they have a model with 1 million tokens context window, but did not report any findings about it. So other than these very interesting benchmarks, the few other main takeaways from the paper is how it outperforms vanilla transformers of the same size, and there is no difference between having one transformer layer every 8 layers than every 3 layers. Since transformers are more computationally expensive, the less a model relies on it, the cheaper it'll be. With this ratio in mind, we can potentially replace up to 84% of a model's layers to Mamba. And if this rule applies to all existing LLM models, this could be huge. Not only the cost to train is significantly less, you would also get double the context window with the same compute. But now, I probably have hyped up Jumba for a decent amount, so let's actually take a step back and look at its shortcomings. AI21 Labs actually hosted a Q&A shortly after Jumba was released, and this guy got a few nice questions answered. To sum them up, Mamba is specifically worse at adapting to tasks where you have to provide examples, aka few shot, and it's unstable when training at scale. They also did not share about the number of tokens it was trained on, which is definitely the key to explain the model's quality. Although Jumba was trained on multilingual data, the specific proportions of the languages involved remain unknown. They did, however, mention the Instruct model is coming soon, which would be really interesting to test out or even use practically. On the other hand, I have a small update on the previous Mamba base video models, which is a sequel to Vim and Vmamba that I mentioned last time. And in this new research paper called Video Mamba, it is set to outperform everyone on the benchmark in a high resolution video understanding. Architecturally, it is more similar to Vim but without using Rope and CLS token and result in improvements of up to 0.8%. It also doesn't use depthwise convolution which Vmamba has. On top of that, it overcomes the overfitting problem that Vmamba suffered when scaling to larger model size by using this self-distillation strategy which uses a smaller and well-trained model as a t-shirt to guide the training of the larger student model. And Video Mamba outperforms previous transformer-based video understanding models on the benchmark, especially on higher resolutions. But the smaller resolution is still on par. However, some may say that vision models that are in smaller resolution doesn't really matter, as from the Apple's multi-model paper stated, image resolution has more impact than its model size, which means we would see more performance increase the larger the resolution. I think the takeaway here is more about how the reduction on compute is huge, with increase in throughput and all around less hardware consumption than transformer-based architectures. So quality at the loss of computations or efficiency at the loss of accuracy. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Alex J, Deegan, Alex Mariz, Mikulim, Fifal, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I will see y'all in the next one.